Finding the power which is transferred from subcircuit A to subcircuit B. We may solve this problem uh, by means of uh, substitution theorem. We may substitute a subcircuit A by a voltage source. A vol value of this voltage source value of this voltage is not known, but we know one measurement, namely we know current that flows through ammeter. Knowing this current, we may calculate this voltage, also we may calculate this current, and then we may calculate the power which is transferred from A to B. These calculations, calculations of this voltage, they can be performed on circuit diagram. We know this current, current that flows through an ideal ammeter, then we may calculate voltage across this 5 ohm resistance. Knowing these two voltages, we may find a voltage across another 5 ohm resistance, and this voltage is our U, which is 30 volt. We may calculate the current that flows through this resistance, now this is 6 ohm, and then knowing these two currents we may calculate the total current that flows, leaves subcircuit A, leaves voltage source that substitutes subcircuit A. This is 8 amp. Then power of this voltage source, this power is equal power uh, supplied or absorbed by subcircuit B from power balance. This power is positive 240, 8 multiplied by 30 is positive. This voltage source satisfies active sign convention, which means that subcircuit A supplies 240 watt power and subcircuit B absorbs this power. That way we have completed this problem. This problem could be also solved by means of power balance. We may simply calculate power of these two resistors and of this voltage source we may add these three powers to obtain 240 absorbed uh, total power by uh, subcircuit B.